Number three is sleeve hand, okay? And this is quite important. If I'm here, and I think this was more important as well when the gripping rules were slightly different. If somebody got their hand on, you could win the sleeve back with two hands and take control. And we'd want to be on the end, we'd want to create this nice pull. And whenever I see Uchimata taught, it's taught like this, okay? Nice sleeve pull, boom. But actually in Randorian competition, we very rarely manage to secure that anymore, okay? We get to a position where we've both got a grip, and if I want to do this nice big pull, they're going to stay here, okay? So gripping on the end of the sleeve, if they've got your lapel, is actually a bad idea. You want to be gripping by the elbow, okay? Now anywhere on the joint, I wouldn't go past the joint as much because it means you're having to stretch too much, okay? But sort of on the joint, even if you're slightly on top, any sort of pressure where you can keep this elbow pushed in, okay? Because when I'm in like this, my partner's gonna naturally wanna open up, okay? Because if she don't, I can come like, oh, say it's something else, okay? So they'll naturally wanna bring this elbow out. So here, here, and then I'm gonna create a lot more pull with my technique, okay? So number three, don't grip. This gets the same side of the opponent and if they've got a grip of your lapel. If they don't have a grip of your lapel, don't worry, you would grab right by the end of the sleeve and against an opposite sider, if they were left, I would, I would still, I'd still let up. I'd still want to be right at the end for a nice big pull because once again, I wouldn't want to be overreaching against an opposite sider. So back to the same side. So from here, on the end of the sleeve, no, we're gonna come up by the elbow and we're gonna create that pressure, okay?